Hey everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. Thank you so much for stopping by. It means a lot. And look what we have here today. Anthony Joshua, the heavyweight boxer, the power, the powerhouse that has completely taken the whole entire world by storm. Such an incredible striker, such an incredible boxer, just a, a, a very incredible specimen when you take a look at him. The man is six foot six, um, very big guy, very good boxer, and I don't know, I just, I got on Fight Night Champion and I decided to download him. Now, I did not make this character myself. Um, if you guys did not know, in Fight Night Champion, there is an option to go online and there are hundreds, and I'm talking hundreds of boxers created by, by people. Thank goodness, man, they create their likeness and you can download them. Man, when I, when I searched up Anthony, Anthony Joshua, man, it, it, it was shocking to me. This dude has over 500 downloads. Like, people are downloading this character left and right. He's, just, he's a very popular one, and I downloaded him. I made a few modifications to, to the way his body looked and um, to his reach and also how much he weighs. I want him to look a little slimmer than the person that created him made him. I also changed his outfit just a, a little bit, and I also changed... Um, the way his face looks just a little bit, but for the most part it looks it looks like Anthony like Anthony Joshua now I'm a fan of Anthony Joshua. Of course he caught my eye because of course he uh, his, I believe his father is Nigerian and you can tell with his middle name Olua Femi uh, He's he's Yoruba. He's Yoruba if you if you if you know the tribes in Nigeria There's Igbo, Yoruba, Hausa, the Hausa are the are the Muslims Now I'm not sure if the guy was actually born in Nigeria But I do know that his dad is Nigerian And I know that because the first time I, I heard that middle name Olua Femi I, I definitely looked him up So we are going to be getting a fight in with Anthony Joshua here. Let's let's take a look at some of his uh, his attributes. As you can see, his stance. He's going to be a conventional and a conventional stance. His boxer type. I went with the boxer puncher. His style. I went with the peekaboo. As you can see right there. Now there are a few uh, there are a few other options. There's the power. See the way that that stands right there. Now that was another option that I was thinking about going with, but. I kind of stuck with peekaboo. Let me know in the comment section which one you guys prefer. Of course, you've got the wild. That looks nothing like him. The mummy. The mummy, that's one of my absolute favorite stances in the game. Conor McGregor tends to put his hands out really wide like that. John Jones does that as well. I mean, you know, tall guys tend to keep their hands out like that. Um, we've got the speed. Speed, that is the Roy Jones right there where he hangs one arm it's, it looks really beautiful. Junior Dos Santos uh, tends to stand like that sometimes when he's when he's trying to be real slick with his boxing. Um, you've got the slickster right there. I don't like that. I don't like that idol. I don't like the way it, 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 it crouches and makes the, the boxer a lot shorter than the eggs. Then you've got the smooth. That's the Muhammad Ali stance right there. That's the Muhammad Ali, kind of looks like Dominic Cruz a little bit, a lot of bouncing. Also, even even looks like like a, like a karate style stance where they're bouncing back and forth like that. Conor McGregor also bounces like that a little bit from time to time. And the crazy, that's the Clay Guida. That's the Clay Guida, completely nuts. I love that stance as well. Um, the easy, another stance that I have seen Junior Dos Santos employ. Uh, in his boxing in the UFC, the sniper. That's look at that. I love that one too. You just hang, hang that arm. That's the Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather stands like that occasionally when he is not in his in his normal Philly shell. He will he will stand like that. Uh, steady. That's that's the balance. You're you're real steady right there. Just hanging the hanging the hands a little bit. High rise. That's the Anthony Pettis. Anthony Pettis has that stance right there. If you've ever watched Anthony Pettis fight. That's the way he hangs his hands. Um, old school. That's the <laughs> that's the Anthony Johnson. Anthony Johnson in the UFC. If you guys ever watch Anthony Johnson fight, he does that little thing where his his head is moving side to side. Yup, that's the that's the classic boxing stance. The balanced right there. That's an EA Sports UFC two. That's right there. That's the that's the stance they gave to George St. Pierre, where you're just real balanced, real balanced right there. And then the upright, the upright. I don't know who I'd say 
stands like that no one no one i know for a fact stands like that but that that keeps you as tall as possible and then textbook that's the uh let's see who who will i say carries his hands like that uh demetrius johnson sometimes then again i'm not sure i'm not sure and then the hyper and the hyper and then you got the cocky the anderson silva look at that Look at that, the drop the hands, standing in front of you, moving his head left or right, I dare you to hit me, and then the peekaboo. So I kind of went out, I kind of <laughs> changed the subject a little bit, showing you guys all the different the different uh, idols there. But we are going to go with peekaboo for Anthony Johnson. And then uh, let me show you guys his, his stats right there. His jab did not max that out, but I definitely maxed out his straight. Um, I don't, I'm not sure why I did not max out his right uppercut. I, you know what? I'm going to leave it at that. His jab to the body, straight to the body. You know, take your time to look at that. And then we are going to go to his athleticism. He's very, very powerful. So I upped his strength all the way. Speed, I chose 98. I'm not sure if he's actually that fast, but I don't want him to feel too slow when I'm using him. Endurance, conditioning, toughness, reflexes, yada, yada, yada. But so that is it. That is it with Anthony Joshua. And um, next up, we are going to get a fight versus Vladimir Klitschko. I think I said that last name correctly. Let me know in the comments section. So we're going to try to get a, a fight versus Vladimir. It's going to be 15 rounds of boxing. I'm hoping it doesn't go to full 15 rounds. I am hoping because that will be a long ass video not that you guys will mind but we're gonna jump right into the fight here and uh once once i get the fight i'll be right back with you guys all righty ladies and gentlemen welcome to the fight now the one thing that i forgot to mention about this fight is that i have turned down Anthony Joshua's chin his chin stats are all the way lower down um, His heart is all is lowered down as well as well as his toughness has also been lowered down And this is going to make it a lot more difficult for me facing the AI so that if I get complacent If the AI hits me with anything big it should cause a rock so that that means this is gonna be a more competitive fight than usual i mean i gotta do that to give the ai more of a fighting chance you know what i mean because even in the greatest of all time when you get when you get really good at the game the ai just the ai just would not be able to compete so you have to do things to help them out i guess um the one thing i'm also going to do once the fight actually starts is i believe i'm going to turn off the hud i'm going to turn off the hud and once I do that, there's actually going to be a good chance I will lose because Vladimir Klitschko in this game actually is pretty tricky. He's very tricky because occasionally he's going to be really aggressive. Usually in the beginning of, of the round, he's going to come out really aggressive and then he becomes passive and starts countering. So he's not, he's one of the more difficult opponents to face, in my opinion, in the heavyweight division. I have an easier time beating Mike Tyson, Muhammad Ali, and other heavyweights than I actually do facing Vladimir Klitschko because of his fight style. So things are, things are probably going to get pretty tricky here. Man, that does look like Anthony Joshua. Wow. Whoever it is that made this character, thank you, man. Did a great job here. So let's go ahead and turn off the hud oh my god you know the one reason why i tend to keep the hud on as i do is because i'd like to see mine and i want to see what my stamina is and what my health is i don't mind not seeing my opponents but there's no way to just turn off the, the opponent's hud and leave yours on so once you turn it off i'm not going to be able to see mine either let's do it let's do it so it's all completely off now this is going to be competitive it should be competitive and i'm going to be very careful i'm not gonna i'm not gonna be overly aggressive because i do not want to get rocked so right there starting off the round really really aggressive throwing throwing combinations and he has relaxed here we go here we go now it's a boxing match Keep going. okay 
There we go. Caught him with that jab right there. Beautiful. Oh, no. Caught me. He caught me. He caught me. Oh, god damn. Oh, no. See what I mean? Aggressive. And then, then he's going to start relaxing again. Oh, shit. Damn. Dude, I do not know how hurt I am right now. He's landing. Caught him with mine. All right. Land to the land the jab to the body right there. Damn, staying staying real. Oh goodness, staying in close. He is so fast too. Like, miss that one. Make sure that I'm not using too much stamina. This is ten rounds. Also, when you turn off the HUD, you don't see the clock. You know, it's uh, it's very uh, it's very realistic very realistic because when you're in there boxing you don't see any of that stuff you don't see you know i mean you, 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 yes you have an idea of oh no pushing me i mean you have an idea of how much stamina you have and how hurt you are and all that stuff but you don't really see the clock caught him with the, with the straight right pull that one go with that jab Swaying it really well. I'm being real conservative right now. He's throwing that wide hook. Yeah, I'm going to pick things up as the fight progresses. So I'm going to be real conserv conservative in this round. Beautiful. Caught him with the left hook right there. Beautiful jab. Oh no, oh no. God, his straight right, just the way it pierces the guard. Almost got in again. This round is over, I, I, I heard the, I heard it. Yeah, round is almost over. Yep, yeah, there we go. So, decent round. Keep the jam pumping. Not a lot really happened there, but we recovered our stamina completely. Not a lot happened in that round. It was more of a, uh, oh my god. Caught him with the straight right. Look at how aggressive this is. Double up on that jab. The one thing I don't want is to get hit with a jab to the body followed by a straight right to the head. It's a nasty combination that if he lands it, you do real damage. I just try to land land it myself. And I, I'm not going to push him too much. All right. Whew. Whew. Almost. Almost landed that. Oh. Oh, oh, feel, dude, the, the amount of power you feel, that's one of the most amazing things about this game. The power translates not just visually, but to your controller. I mean, when they land these heavy shots on you, you feel it rumble like that one. You feel it rumble through your controller. Oh, he's hurt. Oh, my God. Caught him with a net, dude. I want to see. Hold on. Oh, I missed it. I think I, can, I think I can still rewind and see it, dude. I want to see the right hook that hurt him. That was a nasty right hook. Get up, get up, bro. Once he gets back up, I'm gonna see if I can. Hold on a second. See, I love this about this game. Hold on. All right, right there. Hold on, let me, let me zoom this camera out a little bit. Let's position it right there. Right there. All right. So let's let's see let's see what I what I hit him with. How that one happened. 
He went for a jab to the body. I believe he went for something to the head. He went for a right hook. I swayed and caught him with my own right hook. Look at that. There we go. Dude, the, look at how beautiful this thing is. Like, you can, you can make your way into the crowd and watch the fight from, from all the way out here. I'm getting a little... I'm getting a little carried away. Look at this. Ooh. Zoom in on the crowd. Look at look at all look at all these guys watching me fight. All right, let's get back to the fight. We drew blood, dropped them with that right hook. Let's get back to it. Caught him with the with the jab. Oh my god. Missed. Definitely block that. He's going for it, man. He's landing that jab to the body, followed by the straight to the head. He keeps going for it. Beautiful. Caught him with the... Oh, he's hurt. He's cut. He's cut. Do you see the blood on my shorts? This dude is cut. I don't know where he's cut. I don't know where the cut is. Probably his nose, because I've been landing that straight right. Look at that. See the blood on my shorts? I believe it's probably his nose. Keep your distance. It's probably his nose. Missed. Beautiful. Land the jab again. Missed. Beautiful jab right there. It's his nose. I don't see I don't see it clearly. But every time I land a shot to that nose, to that nose side of his face, the blood keeps spraying on my shorts. Oh my god, no, 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 no. We don't want that. Caught him there. Beautiful. Uppercut. Alright, I'm gonna see if I can see. Oh, wait a minute. It's not his nose. It's actually... It's actually his, uh... Right above his right eye. I'm I'm surprised which shot would have caused that. It's not the jab. Probably the left hook. Okay. Oh no. I was trying to go for the overhand. Alright. Let's start picking things up a little bit. My stamina is going down though. There you go. Do you see how many shots this dude is landing on me? This is crazy. Oh my god. Back up. Back up. We don't want that. I'm getting a little bit too uh, overconfident. And that's usually how, how I get rocked when facing Vladimir. And I don't want to do that. Let's just, keep, let's just keep it boxing. I'm just going to box. I'm not going to... I don't want to brawl here. See how patient he is? Just looking for his openings. Move around. Missed. Whew. I'm missing here. Keeps going to the body. Missing again. Beautiful. That one landed. Almost. Almost. All right. Missed. Beautiful. Oh, that one caught him right, right above the, right above the temple, right there. Again. He's trying. He's trying. No. Caught him. Trying to land that overhand left. Caught him to the body. Missed. Oh. Trying to land that clean. 
Yep, he goes for his. It's such a difficult punch to land because... Okay, one of you guys asked me if I use the stick or the buttons. I use the buttons for like for the jabs and the straights. And when I want to throw an overhand, I use the stick. When I want, if I want to throw an uppercut as well, I use the stick. And if I want to throw combinations like long, like string combos together, oh no, I use the stick. Missed. This round is over. All right. Beautiful. Fucking beautiful. Damn, my that stamina was, that is. Fucking amazing. I want another round like that. Stamina is going down. He won that round. What? He won the third. Cause I wasn't busy enough. He's hurt. What? Look at him hugging. Oh. Trying to go jab to the body, jab to the head, straight, just to see if something can get in. Caught him. Let's go, Klitschko. He is. He might, he might get me to blow my wad. I'm already feeling much slower. And if, as you can see, my stance is breaking a little bit. Caught him. Oh, dude. That left hook should have hurt him. Oh, no. Oh, no. He caught me. Again. Again. I want to switch to Southpaw so bad, but again. Missed. Caught him. Trying to see if I can go over the top Stay away from those. with those jabs right there. Over the top with the overhand with the jab. Right there, right there, right there. Again, again. Okay, here we go. In and out, in and out. Man. Working his body. All right, this round is almost over. I'm getting tired, man. Oh my god, I might not recover enough stamina. Yo, dude, I'm getting a little worried here. I'm getting a little worried here. I gotta see if I can rock this dude again. Missed. Caught him. Jab. Okay. Caught him. Again. Again. Slip to the slip to the right. Right there. Slip to the right and land it. Again, beautiful. Again. Sometimes you just start feeling it. I'm feeling it. Feeling it right there. I'm feeling it.
Again. Let's start slipping now. Enough of the pulling. Let's start slipping stuff. There we go. Let's start slipping a lot of these shots. Right there. Jab, uppercut. Wouldn't it be hilarious if I rock him with an uppercut? Landed that one. Where is he? I, I believe he might be cut. He's trying to land his own uppercut. Beautiful. Starting to see a little bit of blood on the on the on the canvas. I'm I'm a lot more confident now. We're staying it more in tight. Oh. 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 Damn, look at that uppercut. Drops him. He might not get up from this. He might not get up from this. Can he get up? Can he get up? Oh, Vladimir. No, he doesn't get up. Fight is over. Ugh. Whew. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. That was competitive. That was competitive. I know it might not seem like it because I won the fight, but it was competitive. I was being super careful. I was being real careful. I mean, he landed a few punches, but barely. From time to time, he will land something clean, but... Getting closer to that, to the end of the last round, I started to feel him fading a little bit. So I picked things up and I was able to get him out of there. But that is it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. Let me know if you would like to see more of this. Um, I know a few of you are requesting a Conor McGregor versus Floyd Mayweather fight. The question is, who do you want me to play as? Do you want me to play as Floyd Mayweather? Or do you want me to play as Conor McGregor? Um, let me know. If you want Conor McGregor, we're going to give you Conor McGregor. But yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. It means a lot to me. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys in the next one. As always, keep yourself safe and have a wonderful day.